Now turn to section 2. Section 2. You will hear an informative talk given by Michael on how to keep out burglars and keep your home safe. Before you listen, you have a chance to read questions 11 to 20. Listen to the first part of the talk carefully and answer questions 11 to 16. Keep them out. There's no fail-proof way to keep out a burglar, but every little bit of deterrence helps. Even if you can't afford a security system, you can take a few minutes to make your home a little safer. Some relatively simple steps will greatly decrease the odds of a break-in, which means you can enjoy more peace of mind. And isn't that what home is all about? Think like a burglar. If you were one, how would you get into your home? Evaluate your home from the inside and out, day and night. You might even try a mock break-in, trying window jams and locks on the house's perimeter. To keep out a burglar, the first thing to do is to secure the windows. Though windows are relatively easy to break, the loud noise of shattering glass will deter a thief if you're near other houses. Don't leave your windows open during the night, whether you're at home or away. That's a common sense precaution, but a surprising number of people forget to do just that. Use a pick-proof locking device for your windows. Make sure the frames are solid. If you're beyond the earshot of your neighbours, they won't hear the glass breaking. Consider installing a plexiglass sheet for the more accessible windows. This will make entry through them more difficult. Your doors should also be secured. If you don't have a peephole, install one in the front door. If you have one, make sure that you and your family are in the habit of using it. Don't open the door to anyone you don't know, especially at night. If the peephole is out of the reach of your children, keep a stepladder or stepping box by the door for them to use. If there's any glass within two feet of your front door lock, consider a locking device that would be out of reach if that glass is broken. Now, a few tips on how to protect your valuables. Don't leave your valuables stereo, computer, jewellery, etc., where they can be seen from the window. If you don't want to hide everything from sight, consider blinds. Make a valuables inventory. Keep a record of your expensive and personally significant items. Not just a listing, but a photographic or videotape record, if possible. Store this inventory at another location. This is helpful for both the police and the insurance agency to identify the stolen goods. Use an engraving pen to mark these items with some kind of personal identifying information, such as your initials, in an inconspicuous place. This also helps record your possessions in case of any other mishap, such as fire or flood. Now, you will have another chance to look at questions 17 to 20. As the talk continues, answer questions 17 to 20. Don't stop your security awareness at the outside walls of your house. Your yard areas, if any, also deserve your attention. In general, don't leave anything around the yard that might help a burglar get into your house. Ladders, stackable boxes or any garden tools should be put away, preferably in a locked cabinet. 
Install a light in your yard that is sensitive to movement. Place it high and out of reach. Trim hedges or bushes that are near doors or windows. These can be good hiding places. Don't place outdoor furniture tables nearby the house. These could become an easy stepladder to the roof. When you are on vacation, create the occupancy illusion. Maybe you laughed at your mother for leaving the lights on and the radio playing while she left for vacation, but she had the right idea. Those steps aren't quite enough, so try these strategies. Buy electronic timers that turn lights on and off at different times. Hook up a timer to your TV for a few hours each evening. Turn the volumes up too, not enough to annoy the neighbors, just enough that a lurker at the window sill couldn't miss hearing it. Have your newspaper and mail delivery suspended. If you don't have time to do this, ask a neighbor to pick them up for you. Ask a neighbor to park in your driveway or parking place. Think about having someone house sit your home. If he's a relative or friend, he may cost you no more than the contents of your refrigerator. You can also find professional house sitters or house sitting services that find someone to stay while you're away. Leave your shades as they are normally, or at least don't close up every one. One sign of a vacant house is closed shades during the day. Lock your garage door with a padlock. That is the end of section two. You will have half a minute to check your answers.